Gleanings from Wood and Field by Emma Dennett. In the Carisbrook Castle Museum is a book which has lots of drawings and paintings of flowers and plants which were in the Isle of Wight during Victorian times. It was made by Emma Dennett, who was born in 1814 and lived locally. She was the daughter of John Dennett, a world-famous inventor who made the life-saving Dennett rocket. Emma lived on the Isle of Wight in the mid-19th century and during her time on the island she drew and painted many of the flowers, plants and fungi which she saw as she explored the hills and valleys, woodlands and riversides. Fair daffodils, we weep to see you haste away so soon. Although some of the pictures are missing, there are many beautiful paintings which she has labelled with either both their Latin and common name and sometimes she's added poems or quotes relating to the places and plants she saw. Flowers of all created things, the most innocently simple and most superbly complex. Are not flowers the stars of the earth? One cannot look closely at the structure of a flower without loving it. They are emblems and manifestations of God's love. She also dated precisely the day, month and year she found them. The book is of particular scientific interest as some of the species can no longer be found on the island and local botanists have used the book to find species which were not known in locations that she listed on the Isle of Wight. She drew the flowers and plants first and then painted in the colour using pencils and watercolours and then added in the poems and labels in pen and ink. There's not a wild geranium yet. There's not a rose in bloom, but I can tell you where to get the violets springing low. They grow about each common place in every hidden nook, where busy man regards them not or has not time to look. Below is a link so you can download the PDF of the whole album, so you can see the pictures and clearly read the types of plants along with Emma's poems and other writings. You can use this download to inspire you to go out and discover plants, flowers and trees on the Isle of Wight or wherever you live or visit. They don't have to be in the countryside. They could be in towns and cities as well. There are trees, flowers and all sorts of plants around the country waiting to be discovered. You could photograph the plants you see or you could draw or paint them as well by using drawing paper, pencils and paints and you can make your own book of flowers and plants with your own labels and your own poems. Just remember not to pick any flowers, as you might accidentally destroy something very rare. Emma died in 1886, aged 72, and is buried in the churchyard of St Mary's Carisbrook, where you can find her family tomb next to a large yew tree. There's not a plant upon the earth, there's not a tree nor flower, but bears the stamp of heavenly birth, the proof of heavenly power. The very leaf on which you tread was wrought with wondrous hand, a fragment of a volume dread that speaks to every land. A book unchanged from age to age, the same since time began, for nature is a living page that preaches God to man. <laughs>